is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get Hey guys, so in this video I thought I would start out by taking you on a motorcycle ride so uh, this is me. I'm on the back of a motorcycle that is popular in India. It's called a Royal Enfield. And the driver is a good friend of mine named Moni. And Moni and I, we would go riding uh, throughout different parts of the state where I was staying called Rajasthan so that we could take these back roads to get to uh, some pretty cool destinations that were just not near any big city. So, for example, we would go visit famous fortresses or we would visit old temples, you know, and along with uh, seeing some of their inhabitants. Or we would just go riding to a destination to, to see a scenic view. But the thing that struck me as we would go along these back roads was just how much activity I saw. So. I would see women carrying goods as they were going about their work for the day. I would see goat herders and, and of course I would see cows, lots of cows on the roads. But riding a motorcycle, or at least in my case riding on the back of a motorcycle, it truly is a magnificent way to see India and witness the beauty of the region as you make it to your destination. So speaking of destinations, at one point in my trip, I had a chance to visit an abandoned fort called Janwa Ramgarh. And this fort is located about 30 kilometers northeast of Jaipur. And I had a chance to visit it thanks to two good friends of mine who took me here, Vikas and Nirmal. Anyway, the brief history of this place is that about 1100 years ago, there was a temple created here dedicated to the goddess named Janwa Mata. Things pretty much stayed that way for about 700 years and that's when a ruler by the name of Man Singh I decided that he wanted to create a major fort here. Okay, so enough history. Let's explore this place. It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow So guys, right now we are at the uh, what looks like the main wall of this uh, abandoned fort and um Vickis, does it seem like this left part of the wall is rather new yeah definitely it's new it's 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 reconstructed wall i think uh there is a door that's been that's been broken up so they have uh, reconstructed it aha uh -huh. and and i guess this is m much recent that's been constru constructed in in recent past years i see yeah that makes sense Okay, so we just entered through that door and we are in a courtyard right now and you can tell that uh, this particular courtyard, uh, it, it has some elegance to it. We have a, a chatri right here, which is this balcony, uh, with this uh, covered balcony that you see over here. And then uh, you can also see the same thing going on on the left side as well. So guys, we just walked uh, a little to the left over here and we can see that uh, this floor right here has caved in and there's a lower level down here, as you can see. And uh, this is something that Vikas had just discovered. So I think we're gonna stay on this side of this floor now that we know that uh, this floor is a little dangerous to walk on. Okay, we're now gonna walk up these stairs from the courtyard and see what's up above. Okay, we are now on the second level, looking down into the courtyard. And I'm just going to pan to the left and show you guys that we actually have, we found a, a second set of stairs that leads up. And I see, hey, because I see that you've already made it up there. And now I have reached that third level. Okay. <laughs> All right. And you've also proven to me that these stairs are safe, so I will now go. When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together, take 
me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong Okay, so uh, we uh, climbed up to a, a roof level and oh my gosh, why did they have to make these little archways so small? It's not like kids play up here on the roof, at least I hope not. Um, but you can see right here that, oh man, the view here, it's, it's really impressive. Wow. You know, as I look across this valley, I, I think about how the rulers of this fort had built it. And about a hundred years later, they decided to abandon this fort. I wonder why. Anyway, let's keep exploring. Okay, so we just walked in through a main door and we're in a chamber and I'm looking up and I'm seeing all of these cracks here along the roof and I don't want to think about how many thousands of tons of rock are above us. So I'm going to keep moving on. <clears throat> oh goodness. Yeah, so Vikas is pointing out that uh, it feels like we're on a movie set. Like a movie set to the mummy right now. He's right. This place has such a eerie, creepy feel to it uh, with this old stone everywhere. So guys, now I'm entering what appears to be a storehouse. We go over to the right over here and just past this entrance, we see a, a small storeroom. I'm really glad I'm not seeing bones right now. That would completely change the meaning of this room. <laughs> what do we notice? So we can notice here painted walls. Oh yeah, I see that because The design is, has been also made over here. Mm-hmm. Chakra. <sighs> Han, Han. And when is more over here? Here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this... This is from a place that was constructed over 400 years ago and we're still able to still see paint on the walls. That's pretty cool. It's easy to notice here. Yeah, look at this. So uh, Vikas is pointing out to me that uh, what we think here is paint is actually projecting out from the, the, the relief that you see right here, this nook. And I, I can feel it protruding out right here. So it's more than just paint. It, it may be a painted stone of sorts. Ah, so over here we see, we see a cistern here uh, used for collecting rainwater. Oh boy. So uh, Vic has just pulled this branch from my shoe and these thorns went straight through the sole of my shoe. Ouch. So guys, if we look up here, we can actually spy a little temple. I'll just zoom in right here for you. And uh, I'm thinking this may be the temple of Janva Mata. It certainly looks old enough to be a temple that's uh, around the time when that particular temple was built over 1100 years ago. Hold on, we'll be together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. So guys, uh, we're taking a break right now because uh, some of the local people gave us some chai and it's uh, really refreshing right now. So uh, one thing that's happening around here is that uh, it seems that the Indian government has finally gotten a clue and realized the importance of this place and they've hired people to start restoring this wonderful abandoned complex, this lost city if I may call it like that. So if you look behind me, you're going to see uh, a number of ladies who are working, uh, chipping away at rock. And uh, this, is, this is hard work. And these ladies are doing it. We, we see that a number of ladies are, are working on the rock and then they, they turn around and they tend to their babies. So this is... This is like they're doing double duty work around here. These ladies work hard. Okay, so we're back at the, the front of this whole 
uh, abandoned fort. And uh, over here in this building, you can see that there is this huge crack that just runs all the way down to the top of that arch. And uh, I, I'm sure it's safe to go in there, but I still don't want to. But we still want to explore it a little bit. And now we've walked over to the right side of this building and we see another huge crack that just spans the entire height of the building itself. So this building, it's undergoing a lot of stresses over time. So Vikas and I climbed up this one set of stairs and you can just see this long runway that uh, spans the length of this wall. Ah, and I see Vikas. He's going up to the top level. All right, well, I can't help it. I'm gonna go up there and join him too. Ah, so guys, I mean, we're, we're, we're near the end of uh, exploring uh, Janwa Ramga, and this is, this is quite uh, an amazing place to visit, as you can tell, but something that I'm just as thrilled in seeing is that the Indian government is making an effort to restore this place. And this is, this is important because I'm not seeing this so much in the, the, the temples and the uh, historical sites that I've seen in India before. And I just hope that this continues. So we'll see what happens, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.